U.S. product, Jordan Schrader. You might remember him from the World Junior Hockey Championship, playing with Team USA, also with the University of Minnesota as well. Jordan, talk to me a little bit about your game. What has gotten you this far in terms of people looking at you as a first-round NHL draft pick? Well, I definitely uh, you know, like to use my teammates a lot. Uh, you know, I like to get them involved in the play and distribute the puck. Uh, you know, I'm known as a little bit of a playmaker, but uh, you know, I think I can bear down and put the puck in the back of the net as well. Well, this is a different type of performance setting here for you. You're used to impressing people in front of thousands of fans on the ice, showing your skills. A different element. How'd you find this out here today? Well, definitely, it's uh, a lot of fun. Uh, you know, a little nerves uh, at first, but once you get going and into the workout, you know, it's pretty intense, and uh, I had a lot of fun with it. Would you, would you like the best, and would you not like? Oh, well, definitely. Everyone will say the bikes are definitely the hardest. You know, you're, you're a little dizzy afterwards, but uh, you know, I liked every. You know, everything was a good test, and uh, to see where I'm at, um, you know, I thought I did pretty well. And pretty strong showing in the bench press, but and and no throwing up on the bike either. <laughs> I, uh, you know, bench uh, went pretty well uh, after the bike. You know, I felt a little, little bit, a little bit came up. I have to admit, a little bit came up, but uh, other than that, uh, no, not too much. So, t give me your dream scenario. Which which would be the dream choice to hear? The insert name here would be proud to select Jordan Schrader. Uh, I have no preference, to be honest with you. Uh, you know, just it'd be an honor to go in the first round, uh, top ten, but you never know what to expect on draft day. Uh, you know, I'm going to go in there with a positive attitude and, you know, hope for the best, but if it doesn't, you know, all well. You uh, you interviewed more with a, more than a few teams. What, 23? Yeah, it was about 23 total in about 24 hours, so I was uh, pretty busy uh, for the couple days here and then the, the testing, so it's uh, good to cap it all off. What was the weirdest question you were asked? Uh, you know, I wasn't asked too many weird questions. I think uh, the weirdest one might have been... Uh, who would you either go out to dinner with, uh, Barack Obama, Maria Sharapova, or Sean Avery? And? Uh, I would have liked to pick Maria Sharapova. You know, she's pretty good looking, but uh, I went with Sean Avery just because uh, you know, he's got a mental edge to him that you know, I'd like to learn a lot about, not just because he's a hockey player, but you know, it's something I need to work on, and uh, you know, I think I could learn a lot from him. And, and scouts and, and sometimes player personnel executives, they, they aren't afraid to challenge you in some of those meetings either. Oh, definitely. They, uh, they like to come after you maybe try to get you a little bit rattled. Uh, you know, I thought I held my ground just well, and uh, you know, it went well. You, know, you kind of fall around in that mix where you're looking at three Canadian NHL teams that might be in the mix of selecting you, the, the possibility of the Toronto Maple Leafs, the Ottawa Senators, and the Edmonton Oilers. Just a thought on maybe playing in one of those Hockey Mad Canada, perhaps. Oh, I'd, you know, it'd be great. Uh, you know, they're nuts about hockey up here. Uh, I love that. Uh, great cities. Uh, you know, it just it'd be an honor to go to any team. Jordan, thanks so much for doing this, and all the best in the next month or so. Thank you very much.